I just 36 and two quarters. From here to here? It's 36 and two quarters? How did you figure that out, though? How do you know? We, we put the yarn from the tip here, and then we colored it with a, mar a blue marker. Mm -hmm. And over there, she colored it yeah. with a blue marker, too, on the very last tip. Mm -hmm. And we, got, we measured it after that, and we saw that it's 36 and two quarters. Okay. The question is, how long is this? Oh. <laughs> I want to know how long is this entire figure? That's what I want to know. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. We're supposed to do a curve. Just yeah. curve it. Curve the, the tip. Put it on the tip. Work it out together. Color it on the tip. Tip, tip. No, no, right. over tip, here. Tip, tip, oh. yeah. No, right here. Okay, you changed your strategy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me why we changed. What did we change to? Tell me we, your thinking. We, we, put, we put the yarn all the way back, and then and we then painted it on the tips, yeah. how long that was. And now we're going to measure it to see how long it is. And the type of questions that we ask are leading questions. I don't, want, I don't want to tell you the answer, but I do want to help you to get to where we need to be. So those type of questions that I ask, for example, say, well, how did you get that? Or did you think about this? Or why did you choose to use this instead of that? And those type of questions, even if they're not sure, made them think a little bit more. Well, I'm using the string because, and they had to think, why am I using the string? Am I using the string because my teammate said, let's pull out the string? I want you to know why you're doing it. And so I ask questions to make them think about why you are making the decisions you're making.